The usual supply and demand curves don't really work for the land market. It's best to use Ricardo's law of rent, which explains how things operate. Ricardo's law of rent was formulated by the economist David Ricardo at the start of the 19th century. At that time, there was a raging controversy about food tariffs. Uh, these were the Corn Laws, and they were eventually abolished in 1846. A couple of reservations. The laws of economics are not like the laws of physics and chemistry. They describe trends rather than precise relationships. And they also assume that all other things are equal, which they almost never are. Now, Ricardo used as his example the different yields of wheat from fields of different fertilities. That was his illustration. I'm going to use busking on the London Underground, and I'm going to pick the Victoria line, and I'm going to oversimplify and assume that the amount a busker will make depends entirely on the number of passengers using the station. Now, that's obviously an oversimplification, and there are other factors, like some passengers in some stations will prefer one type of music rather than another, and some stations have got several pitches for busking, so the number of passengers are spread out. And then there are places like Victoria Station at the bottom of the escalators, where you're coming down the escalator, you've got one hand on the handrail, you're not going to get your wallet out, and so it's not a terribly good place. Another assumption I'm going to make is that one busker is as good as another, and that the music they play doesn't really matter. Anyway, here we are at King's Cross. For example, the busker might take £60 in an hour, but the busker arrives and the pitch is already taken. So where next to go? Well, the next best place is Victoria, but that's only taking £50. Things get interesting then. If you want to busk on the London Underground, you've actually got to pass some kind of audition. But what if you just had to pay for the pitch, bought a ticket for your hour's busking? Well, that means that the pitch at King's Cross would command a £10 premium. They could charge £10 for that one, which means that the busker would have the choice of paying nothing and going to Victoria or paying the £10 and going to King's Cross. Makes no difference to them. Now, what about when the Victoria pitch is taken? Well, the third option now is Oxford Circus. That's the £40 pitch. But that's created a situation where the Victoria pitch is now worth £10 and the King's Cross pitch is worth 20 And then at all of them, they end up taking £40 in their hour of busking. doesn't end there. We can go on like this for a while with new arrivals taking pitches at Euston and Seven Sisters and Pimlico. And as each new pitch is occupied, the previous worst pitch acquires a premium value and the value of the other pitches goes up too. These premiums are what we usually call rent and that's the essence of Ricardo's law. Now we've come to a crunch point. The busker at Pimlico can only make £10 an hour and less than that it isn't worth the effort for whatever reason. So nobody's going to busk at a really quiet station like Black Horse Road where you might just take five pounds. Well, that's in the illustration. So that makes Pimlico what's called the marginal site. The margin is the dotted green line, it's 10 pounds. Now look at the effect of reducing the earnings at the marginal site. For example, supposing there was a flat rate charge of five pounds to play anywhere. So now the dotted line is at the £15 level, and that means the busker would only end up with £5 at Pimlico, and the charge is effectively not the site out of use. 
And this is the effect of all taxes apart from a tax on rent. They drive wages down to the point where marginal sites cannot be used. This can be seen at every scale of the economy. Marginal sites cover large tracts of the country away from London and the South East. It's the Sunderland story. And it works over Europe as a whole, away from the core areas in what you might call the Golden Triangle, which is roughly centred on Cologne. There's one more thing. The effect of a subsidy. So, supposing there was a subsidy of £5 for all sites, well then busking at Black Horse Road is viable. And all the sites, including Pimlico, are now worth paying a premium for. And it's led to an increase in rents on all other sites. The presence of the subsidies makes production viable at the sub-marginal sites. It's resulting in uneconomic production. And this is true for all grants, subsidies, price guarantees and other government legislation that creates an artificial intervention in the market. And I'll say no more about that. That's Ricardo's Law of Rent.